Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank um, you. Um, my name is Lisa, and what is your name? My name is Yahya. Okay, and uh, where are you from, dear? I'm from Morocco, and you? From Morocco. I'm from the United States, nice. uh, but I live, in, I live in Brazil. In Brazil, so how is life there? It's nice. It's a beautiful, sunny, warm weather. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> what about in your country? What is it like there? Uh, the weather is very cold. Ah, okay. Reason it's like four and um, four or five uh, degrees Celsius. It's wow. So cold. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty cold. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit do you like, like the, yeah, it's a little bit better. So, all right. So let's get started with, you want to start with speaking part one? Yeah. And, uh, in the part, uh, the second lesson in, in part one. So the art. Okay. Yeah. Speaking part one, lesson two. All right, here we go. All right, so here are some uh, vocabulary and phrases we'll go over. So if I can get you to uh, re read out loud, the you can start with the adjectives, go on to the verbs. I just want to listen to your uh, pronunciation. Yeah. Oh, and spirit. Motivated, passionate, creative, and the verb to adore, to create, to create. Okay. To have patience for, to think outside the box. A picture in worth a thousand words. A work mm -hmm. of art. Interested in, fascinated by, first, next, finally. Okay, very good. So it is a uh, passion for passion. So, um, and then for the adjectives, inspired, passionate. Inspired. That means uh, when when you be influenced by someone. Inspired. Means. Yeah, you. They influence you. They they push you to be motivated. Yeah. So, inspirational. Yeah, is another word that's connected. Yeah. That means to, so, take, awesome. uh, to take to take his uh, his idea or stuff like this. This is what they mean. Right. Kind of. Yeah. So if you're inspired, like if you watch a motivational speaker, they they really give you a lot of passion for a topic. You're like, yes, I can do I this. Do it yeah. Right <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So yeah. Yeah, they're very motivating. Yeah. Let me see, so. let me see the other the others verb and the adjective to see if I don't understand. Motivated, okay. Motivated that I don't uh, I understand this word. Passionate that means to be patient. Create. Passionate is to have like a love for something. Like you're passionate about reading or you're passionate about uh, studying English. It's something that you really, really enjoy. Passionate. It's, it's, uh, it's not have the same meaning with uh, when you say to be patient. No. Or to, yeah. No. Yeah, patient it's is is spelled. But, but it's different in when when you were writing. All right. So passion and patient. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah, they're completely different words. So. Passionate is. About... Sorry to interrupt you. You can you can continue. No 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 no. It's just your screen is frozen again, and your sound your voice is really low. So no, I. Can you, you can hear me now? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, I I I want to say I was uh, I was heard I was I was watch a lot of the video here of. Of the profile video of uh, the 
of the tutor here on Cambly and they hear the people say I am very patient to mm -hmm. patient to to, to teaching to tutoring, to yeah. tutoring person uh, English. Mm -hmm. They say what? What they say patient 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 that means tolerate and patience you know, I, patient Yeah, so yeah they're 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 really good qualities to have, like patient, like a teacher should be patient. They should be very, uh, they should explain a lot of things. They should not expect the student to quickly understand something. So they yeah. give time for the student to, to understand a concept. Yeah, but passionate is a good one too. So if you love teaching, yeah. To like your work, this is what they mean. Yes. To like what you, I'm patient of to train person or stuff. Exactly. Yeah, passion is to love doing it. Yeah. To adore it means to to love doing something. Yes. To adore. Uh, to adore. Yes. Exactly. So for the phrases, to have patience for, to think outside the box, understand this. A picture is worth a thousand words. I don't understand this phrase. Okay, so when we look at a picture, like if you and I were both to look at the same picture of something, um, I could say, oh, wow, it's beautiful. It's So that's one word, beautiful. Uh, the second word I might say is it's very uh, moving. It's very colorful. It's very bright. It's very bold. So those are five words. So when you look at a picture, you can always find, there's a thousand words to describe it. So maybe it's just a dark, ugly, uh, what is it, colorless. So it just means that a picture, when you look at a picture, you can describe it with a thousand words. You adore it. You like it. You can't. Uh, if you say a thousand words, you can describe this beauty. This is what they mean. You can. Yeah. It, it doesn't mean that you really adore it or love it. It just means that it's. Uh, yeah. Like people see the beauty in it or they don't see the beauty in it. So maybe I love it and you hate it. <laughs> so but we can both <laughs> describe it with a thousand words. Yeah. Yeah, but but uh, but you sh but you uh, I can use this this phrase when I like it and uh, mm -hmm. and when I hate it. True. Yeah, pictures worth a thousand words. So yeah, it can be used either way. Yeah, love or hate or respect or it's trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Interested in I understand it. Fascin Fascinated. Fascinated. I don't understand. Fascinated. Fascinated is a uh, high interest. Like I'm fascinated by people that can learn multiple languages. So people that know like seven, eight languages. I think that's very fascinating. It's it's amazing how they can are that they were able to do it. Or I think it's uh, it's an interesting word to use it in uh, in in the test in the island. If you say I fascinated, 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 about yes, about yeah. yeah, you have a lot of interest in it. Like I'm fascinated by people that can paint because I can't do it. I can't paint. So when someone is really good at painting, I'm like, wow, that's really amazing. So, yeah, I'm fascinated by that. By him. Yeah. yeah. And finally, next first, I understand that. The three words. Awesome. Fabulous. All right, so let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so uh, to take your IELTS, um, of course, you're going to really need, they're going to be looking for a lot of detail. Um, if you if you answer really shortly, uh, it's not going to give the examiner a lot to grade you by, like to score you. So the more detail, uh, the better, such as uh, how often do you visit art galleries? So the good answer, all it does is answer the question. It doesn't give a lot of detail. So it says, I've never been 
sorry, I've never visited art galleries. Well, maybe in the future. So it doesn't really give much detail. It's just very basic. So. Uh, yeah, so I need in the test to, uh, to, uh, to make my answer very, very long and use the well, written words and vocabulary. Interesting words, vocabulary, but lots of details. So think of your five senses, like your, like uh, when you're talking about galleries, you could say, oh, I love going to galleries, the vibrant colors, uh, the silence of the, the art gallery, people commenting on the beauty of the, co of the, the painters, the creativity. So you could really use a lot of description so that's what they're looking for when you go to take your IELTS is lots of description. Yeah. Okay. To make, yeah, to make the examiner feel you are a native speaker. Yeah, I guess. Or close. <laughs> yeah. Or close. So, so sometimes I ask you to compare and contrast something. For example, 